must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Uh, as you can see there's some chests here because I was trying to uh, go through my amiibos again and I didn't really want to record while I was opening all the amiibos because that would take like 10 minutes out of our 30 minutes and I just didn't want to do that. So basically to summarize I didn't get anything good. <laughs> I only got like bomb arrows, fire arrows, uh, a couple of weapons and bows, but nothing really that great, uh, to be honest. I got like a, a soldier's uh, shield. I, just, I got a lot of food, a lot of food items, and I got a bow that does 14 damage. Uh, the reason I was trying to do the amiibos is just so we could try to get some of the rare armors uh, that you could only get from amiibos. Complete the sky set, the twilight set, the the. Hero of Time set, etc, etc. There's actually a ton of stuff you can get that is cool, but I didn't get any, and I went through like 20 amiibos. Actually, hey Beetle, hey. I wouldn't mind uh, buying some arrows. Sasa, Sasa. Let me see your arrows, man. Wow. I'm running low on money, but that's alright. Alright, I'm actually gonna sell Beetle. Yes, I'm gonna sell. Now that I know... You can't actually sell gems to the lady in Goron uh, Town, Goron City, until after you do the Divine Beast in Goron City. And I didn't know that, so... Um, let's see. I'm gonna sell... Mm, man, I guess I don't need 69 of these. Uh, I'll sell like 30 of these. There's 900. I need 2,000! To get the Goron mask, which is ridiculous, but we'll get it eventually. Um, I don't really want to sell a whole lot else because, to be honest, we might need some of this to upgrade our armor. Uh, I'll sell some of these. These are pretty easy to to get. Wow! All right, as long as I got a little bit of jingle in my pouch, you know what I mean. I just don't want to be broke. All right, so uh, we have a ton of side quests that we could be doing. We have a ton of shrines that we could be uh, searching for. That, that looks kind of cool up there. Uh, but before I leave this area, we definitely need to get a shrine around here because right now I, I don't have a shrine. Actually, where's the tower in this region? I'm assuming the red pin is the tower. Yeah, it's way over there. All right. Let's at least stop by uh, Rito Town. That way we get the shrine there. We can look at how much the uh, Snow Quill armor is going to cost us. I'm not really sure how much it costs. Probably a lot. Oops, sorry, buddy. I was thinking, you know, it might be smart to do the Goron uh, Divine Beast. First, that way I can sell the gems. It would just make the game a lot easier if I could sell gems to her so I could get more money faster. Uh, but we don't have to do the Goron Divine Beast first. For, before I do any other Divine Beast though, guys, I would... Oh. Speaking of Divine Beasts. Man, that, that is such a cool looking Divine Beast and the music just gave me chills. <laughs> what was that camera? Oh my gosh, I just feel disgusting now. I feel like I have to take a shower. Anyway, alright. 
let's uh <laughs> head on into Reno Village. What a way to enter the village. Hey, buddy. Hey, are you a traveler? I'd show you around, but it's really not a good time. All right. One of the cool things about the Rito Village is that the music is like a uh, remix of the Dragon Roost Island from Wind Waker. Although I think the original uh, Dragon Roost Island song is better. This is still pretty cool. There's the inn. Anything for sale in here? Just beds. Just beds. This town's actually pretty small. Uh, general shop, eh? I'll take all of your arrows. Man, you are way cheaper than Beetle. What's this? Ooh, a recipe book? That's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm... Wait, is that goat butter? I will buy all the goat butter, because I don't have very many. I know we're going to need them at some point. Alright, here is the armor shop, guys. Oh, man, I really want this armor. Hey! 1,000? Deal! I want the snow quill Ooh. armor. 605.50. Alright, I gotta oh. sell. I got no choice. You, you drive a hard bargain. Actually, uh, do you want to buy my dubious food? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Anytime, dude. Uh, I, re I don't... I'm going to sell that. Oh. Because I want to cook more food, and it keeps telling me I can't hold any more cooked food. So I'm just going to sell these one-offs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Now, um, where was I... Uh, let's sell some of the red shoe jelly. That's... I got a lot of that. Oh. Alright, now I can buy the armor. Now I just need, like, another 500. Um... Dang, luminous stones sell for a lot. So, let's sell, uh, 25 of these bad boys. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, now I'm rich. All right, thank you. Now I can buy these. Oh. I really, really, really wanted this armor Ooh. because it basically makes it so I could travel. No, oh. no, 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 no. Anywhere in the cold Ooh. without ever worrying about it. Plus, in my opinion, it's the best looking armor <laughs> in the game. When in Rito Town, dress like the Ritos do with style. Oh man, can we just appreciate that armor right there? Also, uh, we can dye this armor to be a different color, so we can always do that later. The only thing that might complete the look is snow boots, which I don't remember how you get the snow boots, but we'll figure that out later. Oh, Cree, why, why are you sad? The divine beast of Armando in the sky is the worst! Molly's dad got hurt. Tulin's dad disappeared. Mom and big sis and my little sis are all sad. And I, I can't do anything to help. You're so cute though, dude. Got a cooking spot. All right. Let's go talk to the, the leader, dude. That way we can start the quest for the Divide Beast. But I don't think I'm gonna actually do the Divide Beast. We're just gonna get the quest going. Huh? Right, here's another quest. Oh, dang. This one I think we actually have to pay attention and she's gonna ask us questions about the story. So pay attention, guys. I think that's what this is. Molly. Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the northwest. Suddenly, he saw a huge snow white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow white bird. As he got a little closer, something super important inside its belly. Ah! The bird had swallowed. Oh, what was it? I always get sleepy on that part, so I don't remember. I know where the big tree is, though. Dang, you want me to go way up there and then jump off the northwest cliff? 
Oh, you know what it is? It's a shrine. Aww. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a shrine quest for sure. Ooh. Speaking of shrines, let's uh, just take a little breather here from the uh, Rito population. Wait, any quests over here? More quests? More quests? Stop it! Or what you gonna do about it? <laughs> Alright, let's get the shrine. Sorry about smacking the desk with my cup. I was just taking a drink. Uh, drink a tea. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. What is today? Tuesday? It's a beautiful day out where I'm here, where I live. Uh, probably gonna go outside later. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, this one. Alright, yeah, this one is uh, a little bit... A little bit interesting. So, okay, stop blowing me, please. Basically, I need to light all, all or spin all of the fans. This one's obviously not being used properly, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. I'm just looking. Just looking. Yeah, this is a mess. Definitely a mess. I mean, what I would probably do, let's just start right here. We'll go around like this and then see what we can do. It might take me a minute, but we'll get it. This one, we're going to go like that. All right, now all of those are lit. Or spinning, I keep saying lit. They're so lit, guys. All right, and then um, uh, we can go that way, I guess. This guy, we're going to have to... Alright, so this one has to go this way, otherwise this one will not be spinning. Which means... Dang, this is harder than I thought. There's only one not being spun. Can I just blow it with my sword? <laughs> no, a Korok leaf? Um, let's look, take a closer look. Those ones have to be right over there. We could do this differently over here if we wanted. This one's not being used that well. We could, uh... We could put this one over here like this. And then that will allow us to put this one over here. I think we just solved it. Let me take another sip of tea. And where's the chest? Don't tell me there's a bonus room. There's a bonus room. <laughs> Literally, that was super easy. <laughs> like, too easy. I'll take the ancient core, though. Man, we need to go back to the ancient tech lab. Because we have a lot of ancient cores and giant cores now. I bet you I can get the full ancient armor set. Well, that was actually uh, pretty easy. Uh, what is this? Second uh, spirit orb? I need a couple more and I can get another stamina section. Honestly, I just want to go, uh, 
shrine hunting, to be honest, and uh, just chasing loose ends. Like, we have so many side quests. I was looking up all the armor in this game, and there's so many things that aren't... Like, there's a lot of full sets of armor that we don't even have complete, but there's also a lot of, like, just helmets or footwear that do specific things. Like the sand boots, the snow boots, there's different masks that do different things. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff in this game. And a lot of it I've never actually gotten before. So I do want to actually get like every piece of armor in this game, this playthrough. Hello? Hello? I'm mainly only wanting to talk to people that have quests right now. Everybody's so sad here because of the Divine Beast. Oh. Okay, I already marked that shrine. I thought there was more quests in here. She's got, like, an ellipsis. Alright, let's talk to her. Oh, wow. She's... She's a nice color. Can I help you? What's wrong? Never mind. Forget it. Oh. Okay. Okay, here's the big guy. Ah, oh, visitor, welcome to... Oh, oh! That object on your hip, could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I am Canelli, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah Slate dangling from your hip? That's right. First edition. Oh my, so it's true. Does that have an A12 bionic processor? That means you must be a champion! Like Master Rivali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast, Mavamado. No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for over a hundred years! This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion, descendant, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with the divine beast, Va Mado, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rita warriors, but they would not listen. Ooh. Teba Harth tried to confront Mado, but it did not go well. Harth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Mado alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast, Ba Mido. Sure, dude. I'll fix all your problems. Just add it to my list. Oh, that place is cool. That's actually a quest. I remember Zombor doing that. I actually never did that one. Um. Alright, so I think I'm just going to go like... Excuse me, guys. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Um, let's see. There's a shrine right there. I just really want to go get that shrine. It's so close. All right. Maybe, uh, maybe I can do one of these. Don't worry about it, lady. Everything is under control. No. Okay. That looks like a Korok seed. I'm gonna go get it. Everything happens for a reason, guys. I never would have found this if I didn't fall right there. And now I see the tower, which reminds me that... Actually, I want to get that tower even more than I want to get the shrine. I think I remember what that thing is. I think you have to like light a fire on it right when the shadow is going over it or something. There's so many interesting little secrets around this place. It makes me so excited. This is why I love the game. There's just so much to do. I didn't even hit him, dude. The shockwave killed him. Yeah, that's how strong I am. All right, let's bring in our favorite spirit animal wolf. Cannibal, suicidal, helper. No? There he is.
Ah, uh, yep, the heart. The heart in the... Alright, uh, yeah, we can do this one later. Let's, let's actually head towards the tower, guys. I know we only have like 10 minutes left here, but... Don't even think about it. I told you not to think about it. I got a lot of bomb arrows, guys. Kinda just wanna use them. Oh, man. Alright, this, this two-handed weapon is so slow. Um, let's see. Let's do an attack up or something. That'd be fun. It's nice having a lot of hearts now. I don't die. Oh, it's almost dead anyway. All right. One thing that I don't like about this game, though, is that you can't uh, block while you're holding a two-handed weapon. I really feel like that would be useful. You need to calm down. Thank you. Uh, let's do some of the some of these awesome weapons like I never use. Wow, I'm almost dead. That would have been really unfortunate. <laughs> I love messing with them with these elemental weapons. Fire time! You guys are gonna make me rich! Man, there was three silver boys up there? Well, that's one way to clear out a camp. We haven't had a nice little tussle like that in a while. Alright, let's see if they were guarding any uh, treasure. How do I get up there? Oh. How? Okay, I guess you gotta climb up here and fly down? Fair enough. Climbing gear. I wanna get these rush rooms anyways. And that's another thing. I would like to get the uh, the other piece of climbing gear, you know. That would, that would be nice. Anything up here? It's actually uh, not a bad bow there. All right. Yeah, there was really nothing here other than uh, just the silver boys. We got a lot of loot. All right. Let's keep going towards the tower. It's actually up <laughs> right where I just jumped off. Wolf Link, no need to teleport. I'm coming right back. If we could get this tower before the end of the episode, that would be fantastic. I think we can do it, guys. We just got to watch out for the bad boys. Oh, that's like one of the boomerang arms. Another bow, actually. Another good bow. Now I'm full on bows. I, I have awesome weapons. And sorry I got the sniffles, guys. For some reason in the mornings, I usually do have the sniffles. Um, but there we go. I, I have so many awesome weapons, but like I just gotta use them, you know, cause like I, I'll never replace them otherwise. Ooh. 
Dang, this is looking uh, pretty crazy. I'm gonna have to do a bomb blast. A super jump. All right, let's find a good location for the super jump. This looks perfect. Wolf Link, come over here. Stay. And uh, we're gonna go right here. This should be high enough. I'm not probably gonna get all the way up there, but at least we'll get across this uh, chasm. Okay, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Nope. That was a bad one. Let's try this again. The recipe has to be just right, you know what I mean? Oh! Gosh, I am rusty, guys. I am rusty, sorry. A little bit rusty. Let's throw that away. Let's try again. Alright, alright. This time for sure. Alright, about right here. Not, not close enough. Not close enough. Not close enough. Okay. Okay. Dang, I really wanted to get that shrine too, but... The cow- The tower calls to me. I want to uncover the map, you know what I mean? Get a little bit closer. There it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how we do it, boys. That is how we do it. Oh my. Another shrine. Another shrine. Okay. I don't have any more pins. But first things first. How the heck do I get to this tower? I gotta climb up this pillar, don't I? Alright. No pain, no gain. There we go. Oh, baby, come on. Oh. We found the Tabitha Tower. Ooh, I see a great fairy uh, fountain right down there, too. Awesome. Maybe we can go upgrade some armor after this? probably thought I'd get too sidetracked and we wouldn't get it done this episode. Psh. We got it. We got a shrine this episode. We got a couple new quests from the Rito Village that we will complete in time. And we also got the tower, which I think this is the tower that shows the Rito Village, but maybe not. We'll see. Scanning area. Plus that great fairy fountain right down there is pretty awesome too. We don't have very many towers left guys, so savor the moment. Oh yeah! Now we can see the Rito Village. Awesome! Alright. Now, nah, where's that fairy? Where'd that fairy go? There she is. And I see a ton of luminous stones. Those things sell for 70 each. Which is an amazing price. Look at all these shrines. I know what we're doing next episode, guys. We are going shrine hopping. There's also a couple more towers that we really need, but... We will get them. Oops, wrong weapon. Where's my cobble crusher? Stone smasher, sorry. 
There's 140. There's 210. Oh man, I forgot she needs rupees. Hopefully I have enough. I don't think, oh man, I don't have a lot of rupees. I don't have a lot. Ooh, Endura carrots are actually really, really good. They, they give you extra stamina wheels, basically. Not just replenishing the stamina. Extra wheels. Also, if you ever want to revive a horse, I think you need them. Alright. How much do you need? How much? How much? Great Fairy Quesa? A thousand? Oh, I have just enough. Perfect. Expensive, but worth it. She can upgrade my stuff to level three, guys. The power! Overwhelming! I know it said overflowing, but... StarCraft players will know the meme. We're already at 30 minutes, but it's okay if we go a couple minutes over. I wish they would have made them a little more different looking. You know? They almost all look exactly the same, just a little bit color hair, or a little bit different skin color, or a little bit different out... You know, but they pretty much look the same, almost. Same character model. Yep, let's see if you can uh. enhance. She can greatly enhance. Oh, we we sh we could enhance the ch champion's tunic. I mean, sure, I guess. Close your eyes. Kind of takes a long time to do this. Um, the Sheikah set we could upgrade, but I don't have enough to upgrade all of it. The climbers, yeah, we need to upgrade the bandana. Uh, it's only level one, mm. or level zero, basically. It doesn't even have a star. My champion or my climbers uh, armor is already two star, I think. I don't have enough. Um, yeah, let's upgrade uh, the snow quail stuff as mm. much as I can. That extra, that little extra uh, defense goes a long way in master mode. It's the difference between getting one-shotted or uh, not, basically. Uh. And I'm pretty sure the uh, Snow Quill set has another bonus if we get it to level two, all, th all three pieces. Uh, yep, Snow Quill mm. trousers. Man, good thing uh. I didn't sell all that red chew jelly, see guys? You actually need a lot of monster part stuff to upgrade. I. I. Ooh. I need more warm saflinas, but we can upgrade a couple more pieces. Let's do at least two of the pieces. And uh, yeah, I guess I just need to keep looking for more more parts. The ancient, uh, the ancient armor, I don't want to upgrade until I actually have all the ancient pieces. I... Let me see what else. The rubber armor, I mean, I guess. I'm not going to use the rubber chew jelly for anything else. I do need to get the other sets, the pieces of the rubber armor. I have so many uh, incomplete armor sets. So many. It's kind of annoying, but at the same time, it is what it is. All right, let's, let's start upgrading these. I mean, I use it a lot. We might as well. Probably the... Actually, I should <laughs> I should have watched that animation. It's the first thing we've leveled up to level three. Let, let's do let's do another. Oh, I don't have enough sneaky river snails thing. I need to go to Zora's domain. Um, yeah, let's upgrade the flame armor. Sure, why not? See, I do need those fireproof lizards, guys. 
Thank you, thank you. Uh, I wish you could upgrade mm. more pieces at once. That's the only thing. It's just kind of slow. Alright. Um I mean I could upgrade these. I don't I never really use it though. The soldiers stuff I could upgrade, I never really use it. That's a big increase on defense though, but Ah, oh, that's actually pretty cheap. I mean I guess I'll do that. That's that's really cheap. Might as well do the level one upgrade there. Then we don't have to do it later, because I'm gonna have to do it eventually anyways. <laughs> Um, I think we're good on up. Oh, I could upgrade the snow quill tunic to level two, uh, level three. Nah, I'll wait on that. Uh, I think we're pretty good, guys. I want to upgrade the snow quill trousers, but I don't have enough. All right, yep, that's it. That's it. That's it. We're done. I'll come back later. We did. We got. We got a few. Few upgrades there. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know why there's no fairies at this stupid fairy fountain, but yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild. As always, I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.